Hey, me. Hey, me. Hey, me. Hey, me. Hey, me. Diego Spikers. This is how a young man from Mexico calls himself on the internet. He has recently gained a lot of fame, especially on TikTok, where he has reached almost 1 million followers. Diego is an excellent artist and with a few pencils he can create amazing realistic pictures and portraits. That is why he started his online business to reach more people with his art and to gain new customers. And this is how his profile looked like at the very beginning. It was filled with various sketches, portraits and videos of him creating his works of art. But after a longer time, Diego's online activity became more and more dark. And that immediately attracted the interest of paranormal enthusiasts. I think we also, as one of them, should not pass by this case, rather on the contrary, it is our sacred duty to check the whole story and to dive carefully into everything. The story of our today's hero begins when he finally fulfilled his dream. Both an apartment and although small, he could finally say that he has his own place. At the same time, he had the idea to present his talent to the bigger audience and that's when his profiles on TikTok and Instagram were created. Everything developed slowly but noticeably and Diego's work gained more and more recognition. Diego's growing audience encouraged him to share other things as well, to talk about himself, his other hobbies. Understanding the importance of connecting with his audience, Diego began sharing his thoughts, answering their questions or even sketching what they wanted and from time to time he would even upload a funny short skit especially for his audience. One day, however, a short video appeared on Diego's profile, and what started happening in his life shortly after almost completely took over his online activity. It all started here. Le compré un castillo a mi hija y ya no sale de aquí para nada, weón. Es re lindo, tiene ventanita y todo, pille. ¿Qué es esa mierda? Uy, uy, no. While many immediately called the video as a cheap fake, there were also many people who were already sure that along with the toy house for his daughter, Diego had brought home something else, something that from now on he would have to deal with. The man had also sent some photos of his new acquisition to his wife, who noticed something suspicious in one of them. In the end, Diego shared photos with his audience as well, claiming that he hadn't noticed anything strange when he was taking them. From outside the window, a child peeks into the room. The problem was that Diego's apartment is on the fifth floor. Since that day, more and more strange videos appeared on the man's profiles. was even worse, as he claimed himself, after a while the more time his daughter spent in the toy house, the more these strange situations were focused on her. What are you doing? 
Como que não saiu, mano? Maria. Tem um dessa coisa muito. É doida. Hey, me. Hey, me. Hey, me. Hey, me. Hey, me! And even though it actually seemed like everything was happening around his daughter, in fact, there were also videos of him experiencing strange things even when the child wasn't home. Marica, perro lo grabé, ñero lo grabé, venga. Although Diego often shared on his profile that was happening to him when he sometimes answered viewers' questions, they noticed that the man had become a shadow of himself and seemed incredibly tired because, as he said, neither he or his family were able to function normally because of everything that was happening. To make the matter worse, whatever they were dealing with, it seemed that it was not going to let go. On the contrary, the strange situations mainly involving his daughter became more and more frightening. Amy. 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 Hey, me. Amy. 
someone even recommended that he should try the old method with flowers spilled on the floor, but even that took an unexpected turn. Bueno, pues, aquí puse la harina así, esparcí en toda la entrada del apple. Estamos corriendo. There are much more recordings that Diego shared on his profile. Some equally interesting, some less, but there are definitely a lot. But I think we have seen enough. It is time to ask ourselves a question. Can what Diego is experiencing be even real? Or is it just a spectacle cleverly prepared with the idea of reaching a huge audience, which he clearly managed to achieve? Watching these videos, it's hard to see any cuts which allow to mix several videos into one. Besides, it would be rather hard to pack all these cabinets with some really small children. But on the other hand, with proper planning, everything could be easily done. In the meantime, please let me know in the comments what you think about what Diego showed us. And maybe one day during some live stream, we'll look for flaws in his videos and for evidence that the whole situation was simply set up. As for now, it would be best if you look through his footage in more detail, but at the moment you have only Instagram at your disposal because for some reason TikTok blocked his main account. But Instagram should be enough to trace the whole situation. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and if you don't want to miss more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much in advance. And now it's time to say goodbye. See you in the next one.